Hey guys, it's Miss Clark. Um, I'm here to give you the lesson for um, math for um, November 17th, 2020. Uh, I was trying to remember the date. All right, so bear with me because there's some things that are going to be different in this lesson. So just uh, hang tight. All right, so lesson two says I can write an addition equation to find the total number of objects in equal groups. Okay, so our first part, we have a um, some number talks. So go ahead and solve these at home. So 52 plus 10 is what? If you said 62, you are correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, what's 68 plus 10? Okay, that is 78. Good job. All right, and then 75 plus 5 is what? Okay, if you said 80, you are correct. Great job. All right, so let's look at our word problem. Okay, so this is the picture that went with it. We're just going to look at the words. Okay, so Tony made dinner. He put hot dogs on the grill. There were four rows with five hot dogs in each row. So how many hot dogs did Tony cook? Write an equation and draw an array to represent the problem. So I want you to do this in your notebook. So it says he put hot dogs on the grill. So there were four rows. So one two, three, four, with five hot dogs in each row. So we've already got one. So two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five. Okay. So now let's count how many hot dogs we have. So we can count by fives. Ready? So five, 10, 15, 20. So your answer is 20. He had 20 total hot dogs. That's a lot of hot dogs. Okay. All right. Don't forget, you can pause the video um, to write this down in your notebook. Okay. All right. Next part. So now we're going to look at module two, lesson four, which is add to find the total number of objects in array. So I'm going to see if I can make my camera a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'll put it in the middle. All right. Uh-oh. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so I know the camera is kind of small, but this is lesson four. So it looks like this. It says, I'd objects to find the total number of objects in arrays, and that one is page 53. Okay, so right here, it says, I can write an addition equation to find the total number of objects in equal groups. To spark your learning, you're going to use tools to show how Lily can put her books in equal rows. Show how you can add to find the total number of books. So it says, the problem is, Lily wants to put her six books in equal rows. Use tools to show how she can do this. Then show how you can add to find the total number of books. Okay. So if she has six books... Okay, maybe I should just move it over here. I'm trying to get myself organized. All right, so she has six books. So we can do like, mm, we can do boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So is this an array? Yes, it is. So our array is right here. So that's one way you can do it. What about if you do it this way? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you are neatly putting stuff, objects in rows and columns. Okay. So either one of these are correct. Okay. So let's see. Use tools, then show how you can add. So let's look at our repeated addition equation. So we have two plus two, plus two. So we can do two plus two, plus two. All right, so remember, we're still on this page. Okay, my technology is not working today, so bear with me. All right, so our equations are two plus two plus two, or you can do three plus three. Okay, all right, so go ahead and write that down in the box. Okay, in the box right there. All right, now I'm going to erase... Now we're going to move on to the next page.
Okay, so the next page looks like this. It's called Build Understanding. Or, I'm sorry, wrong one. Mm -hmm. Build Understanding. All right, so this one says, Grayson puts his toy trains in rows. How many trains does he have? And then it says, how can you use tools to show Grayson's trains? Well, first of all, they already drew the array for you. But we can do our equation. Okay. So, um, he's already got it written out. So, letter A. Okay. So, he's got how many rows? He has two rows. Okay. So, um, actually, the answer to B, it says how many rows of trains are there? There are two rows of trains. Okay. And then C, it says how many trains are in each row? Well, in each row, so let's see. Oop, my camera's backwards. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, he's got five in each row. So, right here, I'm going to put five in each row. And then D on that page says, how can you write an addition equation to show how many trains Grayson has? Well, we can do 5 plus 5 equals 10. You're probably like, wow, that's really easy. But you just did an array. Um, you just wrote an equation for it. So now, letter E down at the bottom, it says, how many trains does Grayson have? He has 10 trains. All right, so go ahead and fill that in. Again, I'm sorry about the technology. I, I usually am able to pick pull up the digital version of the book. But right now I'm having to do the uh, paper version of the book. So just hang with me. And if you need help, you can always message me. Okay? On Class Dojo. All right. So step it out. We're on this page now. Which is page 55. Okay? All right. So it says... Number one, Oliver collects stickers. How many smiley face stickers does he have? All right, so letter A. Oops. Letter A, it says, find the number of rows of stickers. Okay, so we're going to look at our... So it goes one, two, three, four. He's got four rows of stickers. So put a four. B. So it's going to ask you how many are in each row. So find the number of stickers in each row. So one going across, one, two, three, four, five. So he's got five in each row because they're all the same. All right, so C, it says write an addition equation to find the total number of stickers. It has four blanks. So you know you're going to put five plus five plus five plus five. Do you see that? So, that is going to be, let's count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, I know that's terrible, but it's 20. And then D says, solve, Oliver has 20 smiley face stickers. Now, go ahead and fill this in. I wrote the letters A, B, C, and D for you to fill in with me. Okay, so go ahead and um, I'm going to erase. And now we're going to look at the check understanding section. Okay, I'm not going to do the answers with you for this one or the on your own. I'm just going to read it to you. Okay, so it says, Nora drew these triangles. Find the number of rows and the number of triangles in each row. Then write an addition equation to find the total number of triangles. We have blank rows, blank triangles in each row, and we have one, two, three, four blanks. And then you're going to put how many triangles there are total at the bottom. Okay, all right, next part. On your own. We've only got one page today. Awesome. All right. So number one, uh, number two, sorry. It says, use structure. Ryan puts some crackers on a tray. He puts the crackers in three rows. Each row has five crackers. How many crackers are there? Draw the crackers and write an addition equation to solve the problem. Okay. So Ryan puts some crackers. Okay. So it says he has, says he has three rows and five crackers in each row. So, you're going to fill in the missing numbers and then put how many crackers he has. And you can draw it right here in this space. Or in your notebook if you need it. So, number three, it says find the number of rows and the number of objects in each row. Then write an addition equation to find the total. These should be pretty simple, hopefully. All right, so number three, how many rows does it have? How many circles are in each row? And then just put the number of circles in each row and add them together. And you get your answer. 
And then the last one, number four, is stars. So how many rows of stars do you have? How many stars are in each row? And then you have however many stars and you add them together. Now, in the learn, I'm in a learning mindset says, what did I learn in addition to what was taught in the lesson? So that means like, what is something extra that I learned today? Okay, so, all right, let's go down and see if we have anything else. Okay, so we completed everything. Um, there is a um, array bingo game. Um, and it looks like this, um, that you should have gotten. Um, I'm going to pull it up for you so you can see the instructions. Let me make my video smaller. All right. So array bingo. So here is what some of the card, what one card looks like. So it says skills, practice matching numbers with the total number of the dots. So you're going to need the array bingo cards and the paper spinner. So each player cuts the cards and arranges his or her cards face up in a four by four array on the playing surface. All right, so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm going to, I want you to pause the video so you can see the directions. Okay, so you can read them for yourself or you can have someone um, at your home read them to you. Um, I'm running out of time. So here is the array bingo spinner. So you should have that, and you're going to match these numbers with these, okay? So these are totals, these are arrays, and then here are the totals right here. So when you spin, you try to find the matching array, okay? Basically, it's what it is. All right, so if all, it says, this is how you win. If all the number cards are used before someone wins, a player shuffles the deck and play continues. First player to turn a card face down so that a row, column, or diagonal of cards is all face down, calls out bingo, and is the winner. Okay, so you've also got some cards that come with it. Okay, and if you have any questions, you can message me or your teacher um, with help playing bingo. Bingo is optional. If you find that you don't have enough time for it, that's okay. So it's just for fun. Uh, we'll be playing it in class as well. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.